When receivers at two grocery stores in a small city in Canada opened their boxes of Del Monte bananas to restock shelves, they were stunned to find bricks of cocaine instead. Meanwhile, four and a half thousand miles away, nearly a thousand kilos of similar bricks were found in a shipment of bananas at a seaport in Britain. The narco world's gone completely bananas. The mob reporter here with news of two cocaine discoveries this week, made in very different ways and in very different places, that tell the exact same story. And it's an important one for the underworld. Let me tell you about it. Federal police in Canada revealed this week the close of their international investigation that started when a grocery store in Kelowna, in Canada's west, called to say tightly wrapped bricks were found where they were expecting bunches of bananas. When officers arrived, they were shown 12 bricks, weighing about a kilo each. That same day, a call came in from a grocery store in West Kelowna, a neighboring city, saying the same thing. There, grocery staff found nine bricks in their banana boxes. Now this discovery in February 2019 set off an international probe and tests confirmed what everyone knew. These were 21 packages of nearly pure cocaine that if stepped on for street sales would be enough blow for everyone in both cities to get wrecked a few times each. The shipment was traced back to Colombia but police don't believe the bricks were meant to make it all the way to Kelowna. No, they believe it was supposed to be picked up elsewhere on its journey up the coast, and someone, somewhere, screwed up. It'll be a costly error. But then again, losing track of coke somewhere among the bananas is, surprisingly, not an uncommon situation. I've tracked dozens of unsuspecting grocery stores finding blow instead of bananas, 2013, workers at three co-op stores in Denmark and some Colroyd supermarkets in Belgium found bricks in their regular order of bananas. Aldi stores in Germany reported similar finds in 2014. The next year, 13 German supermarkets got bricks with their bananas. The same year, Lidl stores in Czech Republic and Tesco's in Britain also reported their produce packing extra punch. In 2019, Three Safeways in Washington State found coke in their bananas, a million bucks worth of it, sending staff at every grocery in the state searching through its produce. Usually when we learn of banana boxes carrying this extra weight, it's caught before it inadvertently gets distributed to people actually hoping for fruit. It's found at the ports where the bulk shipments arrive. Huge shipments of cocaine hidden in bananas have been found at ports in Italy, Russia, Britain, New Zealand, Australia, Czech Republic, Belgium, Netherlands, Romania, Spain, France, Portugal, probably every major country with a substantial drug market where bananas are not natively grown. This one shipment found in Albania had 613 kilos in a shipment of bananas from Colombia. It was a record for the country then. In fact, many national records for coke seizures are found in loads of bananas. In Spain, they even found a more elaborate banana plot. Not just bricks hidden in banana boxes, but also inside fake banana skins. How unappealing is that? Perhaps the most amazing slip came in 2018, in Texas when the port called the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to donate two pallets of bananas to feed inmates in jail because the produce was too ripe to distribute to stores. When two sergeants arrived to collect the bananas, one of them noticed something didn't seem right and looked inside. And you guessed it, brushing aside some pieces of fruit, saw bricks of coke. All told, the officers found 540 packages of cocaine within the shipment with an estimated street value of $18 million. It makes perfect sense, of course. Cocaine is coming from South America, so has to be hidden in shipments of things also being shipped out of those source countries. Colombia, Ecuador, and Brazil are among the world's biggest exporters of bananas. Smugglers also like to use bananas because they are a highly perishable commodity which means they are moved swiftly off of ships and out to distributors. No one wants an overripe banana, as we learned in Texas. The leading narcos, 
the top bananas, so to speak, often give authorities to slip. They're a crafty bunch. Which brings us to another banana boat found this week in Britain. Britain has the distinction of being Europe's largest market for both coke and bananas. It was in the port of Southampton on England's south coast, 70 miles southwest of London, where anomalies were spotted in a shipment of bananas arriving from Colombia. Closer inspection by UK's border force uncovered 946 kilos of coke hidden among the bunches. Police give a street value of about $104 million. This has become a predominant method of industrial scale smuggling and reveals how the underworld operates on a global scale, which is by mimicking the same basic principles of legitimate business. They need to move products that are in demand from a source country where they can be bought cheap to a distant country where they can be sold for much more. For that, they need a stable chain of logistics stretching around the world. The closer that chain looks like legitimate business, the same shipping, the same routing, the same packaging, the greater the chance of success. As with legitimate business, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And when one link slips, instead of their product being delivered to their hungry customers, it can end up in an unsuspecting grocery store or being donated to the police department. By the way, did you know that technically a banana is classed as a berry? Anyway, this all means that if you work in a grocery store, when you're unloading your bananas, you best keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching.